So the timing of all this is just so strange. We had a trending hashtag on Twitter of my white privilege in which some white people have been doing what they've been doing for quite some time now and that is more or less apologizing for being white and virtue signaling about how woke they are and explaining how certain events in their life in which something went well for them can be attributed to their skin color. And there's this big assumption that if they had a different shade of skin, things would not have gone as well for them. And they feel the need to relentlessly apologize for this and make amends over how horribly the U.S. treats minorities. Now, this has all been debunked too many times to count. If we had white privilege, you would expect on average that there would be a lot of indicators and metrics in which whites as a whole would be at the top. Median income as an example, there are a whole slew of races that beat out most whites, and it isn't even close. Indian, Taiwanese, Chinese, Korean, Singaporean, and then you have the British, okay, that's white, but then Japanese, Bulgarian, Lebanese, etc. Now, if we had white privilege, I would think that there would be more white groups a bit closer to the top of that list. If the dials of society were turned in a way to benefit whites, even in some significant way, the worst thing you could say is that it is still completely possible to overcome it as a non-white, even the percentage of arrests in the U.S. Asians are extremely low, and Middle Easterners barely even register. Now, Middle Easterners, there is definitely some racist attitudes against them in the U.S. So why the discrepancies, given all the white privilege and subjugation of minorities, were supposed to be seen? Could it have something to do with the culture? If you grow up in a culture in which you are taught to work extraordinarily hard, stay out of trouble, and a culture in which there is a lot of pressure put on young people to succeed, maybe even a little too much pressure in some cases, then you generally find those people do quite well, and they don't really care about any racial issues, and you don't find them demanding apologies for perceived injustices. You can even take Japanese people, for example. Any Japanese person with gray hair have a very real thing that they could c complain about that happened in the 1940s, being forced into camps. You don't see them complaining, you see them working hard and doing well. Now there is some privilege in this country. The politically connected who get to benefit off the state are a privileged class, no doubt about it. Those who benefit from Fed policy on the interest rates causing stock prices to rise, from an influx of stock purchases, and those who own the most gain the most. Those who benefit disproportionately from inflation as it lessens the burden of debt and those who are rich benefit from this in a vastly unequal way. Or, of course, subsidies where you just get a check from the state. Those are all political privileges and those certainly exist and make the whole white privilege thing look like child's play, frankly. Or there is the privilege that Jussie Smollett apparently has, and he is as intersectional as it can get, a member of many different supposedly aggressed upon groups. If it had been me, for example, a white dude who faked a crime, wasted taxpayer money, wasted the time, manpower, and resources of the Chicago Police Department, all while Chicago has an exceptionally high murder rate, so the police may have been able to use their time in a little bit more of a productive manner, or if I had engaged in obstruction of justice, I would be sitting in a jail cell right now, no doubt about it. The evidence is as clear as day that Jesse Smollett engaged in all of these things I just listed, and I think it's fair to point out that he is at least to some degree politically connected, or perhaps has some friends in high places. You have him dancing with Michelle Obama, hanging out with Barack Obama, or being buddy-buddy with Kamala Harris and Cory Booker. Now, I don't know if they specifically had anything to do with it, but it seems rather obvious that some strings were pulled along the line somewhere. And that is what I would call the mother load of privilege. And I'd love to have some of it, frankly. So the point is, with this rather sad and pitiful trending hashtag we see with my white privilege, where white people are desperately alerting everyone of just how enlightened they are. It's an odd thing considering that at the same time, we have a guy with every mark of being supposedly underprivileged getting special treatment that your average white person could only dream of. What strange times we live in. But that's got to be it for now. Like and subscribe because it is a huge help, and I will see you all later.